here's my opinion. <laughs> That's my opinion. <laughs> and Wait, that goes for why. Donald Trump. Show your work. Show your work. I fucking hated showing my work. You know that? Um, so it, the, the whole thing is fucking dumb. For the reasons that Lee has already pointed out, that I pointed out, the whole thing is a lot of bread and circus and people are into it. You know, people are people are texting their family members and being like, oh, I'm, I'm having drinks watching this all go down. It's like and that's lame. I'm sorry for you that you feel that that's an important thing to do with your time. Like and it takes all of our focus away from shit that's important, like, oh, I don't know, uh, people being burned alive in Hawaii or uh, the continued d decline, violent decline of the U.S. empire abroad. The fact that BRICS just added six more members, which will only hasten the decline of the U.S. empire. What the fuck does that mean for us? Uh, people going on strike or threatening to go on strike like UAW. It's like the, this shit is important. Donald Trump's stupid fucking face like accosting me as I scroll through Twitter and Instagram. It's not fucking important. Like, fine, if you hate him and you want him to go to jail, great. But that's not the issue here because, A, he likely won't serve time in jail. And, B, he's not going to serve time in jail for the shit that's really egregious, which, as Lee pointed out, is the perpetuation of violence on behalf of U.S. empire. So it's like, <clears throat> is really the best that I can fucking say about this whole situation. And I would also like to add, before we wrap up on this topic far quicker than anyone else, um, I would also like to add that we're we're also and and you know I, I'll I'll just say I but I know it's both of us are also not in the both right wing side and it's not even just right wingers it's some people that claim to be left wing but they think that just supporting Donald Trump is somehow very left wing so I don't know what the fuck they are anyway but we're not in that in that we're not in that view either that. Oh, Donald Trump is the savior and why and he's being attacked by the real global powerhouse cabal. And we have to, he's trying to save us, but we just need to defend him. And it's like, fucking no, no to all of that. He is a corrupt con man. Joe Biden is a corrupt con man. Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton and, and all of Obama and they all fucking corrupt con men. And the idea that you should either spend all of your time very excited about this development and talking about how important it is and how we're finally stopping Donald Trump or sit there going, we need to defend Donald Trump. He hasn't done anything wrong. And da, 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 da. like both of those are pathetic, both of them. And you won't really hear that take from enough people. Mm hmm. Because, because within all of this is really that the two party system is one party. You get the same policies out of each party uh, with very few exceptions. And that's what this should be talked about. That So it's not that I think that anybody who runs for president should ever be it should should be able to simply rig things and, and forge records so that they stay in office forever. It's not that I'm endorsing that. I'm just endorsing fucking fight for what matters. 